It's sports time now with John Hank. We are talking baseball, and Leon, I've got to say that the race can't get any closer than one game. You are right, Cheryl. Baltimore and Milwaukee locked horns, and tonight we got a winner, don't we, Johnny? We sure do, and playoffs begin on Tuesday. The American East came down to one game today in Baltimore, the Orioles and Milwaukee, who actually began the day, as Leon said, tied for the lead in the American East. The Birds had taken three straight from the Brewers, who were on the verge of one of the biggest chokes in Major League history. The Oriole was ready, a sellout crowd on hand, knowing this may be the last game for manager Earl Weaver in a Baltimore uniform. And the Brewers set the tone in the first inning. Robin Yount goes the opposite way. Off O starter Jim Palmer. Yount with two home runs in this game. Cecil Cooper adding this solo shot. Ted Simmons later with a two-run homer to lock it up. Palmer giving up only four hits, but three were homers. Palmer wound up 15-5 and five for the season, while the Brewers get the big performance from Don Sutton, acquired late in the season from Houston, and then getting all the help he needed in the Brewers' 10-2 victory. Just kicked the daylights out of us those first three. They took it to us and got us to a point where it was almost impossible to come back in those games. And today, I think we, uh, we kind of turned the tables a little. Milwaukee does it without reliever Raleigh Fingers, and now head for Anaheim, the American League title series against California beginning Tuesday night. National West, the Giants, and their manager, Frank Robinson, doing in the Dodgers. L.A. needing only a victory to force a playoff game tomorrow with Atlanta. Instead, the Giants' Joe Morgan breaking a two-all tie with this three-run homer to right in the seventh. The Giants win it 5-3, knocking the Dodgers out of the race, giving the National West to Atlanta. Even though the Braves lost to San Diego 5-1, the National League title series begins Wednesday afternoon in St. Louis, the Cards and the Braves. Final standings in the American East. Milwaukee wins it, Baltimore a game back. Boston 6 back, Detroit 12 back, the Yankees 16 back, and there are the Indians and Toronto deadlocked at 17 games back. Tribe dropping their season finale at the stadium to Detroit. Alan Trammell with his ninth home run of the year off Tribe starter Rick Sutcliffe. Detroit went on to win at 9-1, while Sutcliffe finished at 14-8. As for the Indians, a disappointing tie for sixth place with lowly Toronto, with question marks for 83. Manager Dave Garcia has made it clear he does not wish to return next year. His contract ran out today, and he's heading back home to San Diego, to his wife, and to what else? I would uh, probably uh, like to scout uh, in the area near my home, so I won't have to travel so much. Traveling is very difficult. But if I can't get the job that I want, then I will try to get a job uh, in some other capacity with somebody else. Well, no official word yet on Dave's future, but we do know that Rick Manning, Miguel DeLanay, and Alan Bannister became free agents today with that final out. So the scoreboard, our last one of the year, full one that is in the American League, Milwaukee winning it, Detroit winning it, Toronto 5-2 over Seattle, Chicago beating Minnesota 6-1, Boston 5-3 over New York, Oakland 6-3 over Kansas City, and California beating Texas 6-4. National League, San Diego the winner over Atlanta, but the Braves win the National West. San Francisco beating the Dodgers, Houston over Cincinnati, in 14 innings the Cardinals beating Chicago. The Cardinals win the National East, Montreal 6-1 over Pittsburgh, and Philadelphia 4-1 over the Mets.